Hello there. Obviously, I'm not very hygienic because I'm wearing the same shirt as when I was singing you a song. Uh, I got to talk about this. This this is a this is a tough one, but it needs to be said, okay? Because hmm, I'm not a sounding board or like this great resource for like every disabled weirdo who wants to reach out. And I've had trouble with this several times. People are, oh, you should, you should know this other disabled person or, you know, and, and they're just, they're too far gone. And look, I know I post and say some very controversial things, but some of these cats, like, I remember somebody had set me up, tried to set me up romantically with like a disabled woman and she's in another country, she's in the States, and she's like, so I talked to her, like, to see what's up, right? She had a couple rough bumps, and uh, she's living in a group home till she gets herself, like, back settled, and she's like, oh, would you move for a woman? I'm like, well, wait a minute now, we're just talking, and I'm like, what are you up to in life? What did you do today? Oh, I played on my phone. Okay, and so I have really down days, too. You know, I have days where, you know, I don't do anything but watch shows or whatever, right? So it's not that I'm this great, you know, <clears throat> beacon of success or anything even close to that. I know I'm very well aware that any of my success has been like marginal at best, right? But like, I've got things up in general, you know, I've been a comedian for almost 15 years. I've got a 26 episode deep podcast i i've got an autobiographical theater show show i've got a film coming out i've been doing poetry for 10 years you know like i got a body of work you know i'm not and 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 it doesn't mean that everything i every every match i strike is pure gold far from it i'm a flawed human being like the rest of us but I've sat down, I paid my dues, I put in the time. So what randomly happens here over time, some disabled lunatic will see me and be like, oh, oh, geez, you're saying really good things. It's too bad you didn't have more views. And then they want to get up on my shit, right? And here's the thing. If you're a disabled dude, or woman, or whatever, it's not gender specific, and you've like put in your time, and you haven't gotten breaks, and look, I know what that's all about, so I'm not trying to, you know, if you haven't got your breaks, then yes, and you've done some shit, yeah, like, I, I befriended a woman on this international CP group I'm on, because like, she was riding horses, and fixing cars, and just like, she was like a, disabled indiana jones almost like all kind of stuff i can't do right and i was just like hey like i just want to say what's up and i i listed my resume like i just did here to you to you but like just like just like a tip of the cap like not expecting nothing like and and, and not a big long conversation like you know but just like hey like i think you're up to some cool shit and like i i really appreciate you doing that but so then this young cat reaches out to me, right? And he's, you know, says the good things. And he gets me um, right after I had some terrible trouble with that woman who rejected me for being disabled. Who literally said that, oh, well, you know, I, I really can't be in a relationship with you because you can't help me take care of my house. And I was in a bad place. So I say, hey, buddy, you know... Um, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now, but, you know, maybe, you know, some time down the line or something like that. So, you know, he was cool about that part, but six weeks went by, and he messaged me again, he said, hey, I really want to talk to you. And it was four in the morning, my time, right? So I'm not responding at that hour to, to some stranger, you know? And But I got back to him the next day, I said, okay. You know, I'm jugg I am I do juggle a lot of things. I said, okay, cool, man. Like, what do you want to talk about? And he said, well, you know, we want to talk about life in general. But he wanted to be on my YouTube channel and on the podcast. Okay, so first of all, my YouTube post, ain't nobody welcome on my fucking channel. You know, like, just to 
fucking post your but yes okay if you want to be on a podcast but like let's talk like what are you up to in life you know and you don't have to be uh, a screaming success i am certainly not i've had people who are considerably more successful than me on my podcast but not absolutely i mean if you're disabled it helps if i know you in person because i know where you're coming from and even then, the disabled people I've known in person, they're, like, up to some shit, right? And this guy was like, well, his ideas are his shit. And I was like, no, that doesn't fly. And it doesn't mean, you know, I don't have a book coming out, but I have one. No, motherfucker, that doesn't count. That doesn't count, okay? And I want to, and by the way, this is 1942's fault if this, uh, if this doesn't go over well and I get some troubles or whatever, but he said, make a, make a video about it. So I am making a video, but so, so here, here, here's, here's what happened. I told, I told this goof straight up, straight up. What's up? You know? And I just said, sorry, this uh, I, cause it's, it just stuck me as annoying. And I, I didn't want to talk, but you know, I'll give him a chance. And he said, he's like I said, right? And so I told him straight up, I said, okay, my, my YouTube posts are mine alone regarding the podcast that you have guessed, but everyone's brought with a purpose. Like if you've really been working towards something, have an established body of work or something uh, about to come out to promote. And but I'm not interested in just random people's worldviews. I'm not. There's a wonderful young man who goes to the cafe and he's He's really, he's come along good. He's a great guy. Um, and he's working on some sci-fi stuff. And he's asked to be on the cafe, on the, sorry, on the podcast before. And I've told, like, I didn't, I kind of blew him off a little bit. But the thing is, is like, dude, when your book is ready to come out, when you've done that work, you know, yes, then I would love to have you on and promote it. And again, it's not that I'm a big success and that I'm going to be helpful for anybody to promote, but that's what, because I've done a body of work. And so, so here, he's, my ideas are my body of work, at least thus far. And he goes on to say, um, uh, I'm a low level stand up comedian struggling to get by. Yes, you made or are making a low budget document. Anybody could do that if they could spend the time. I don't like you for your accomplishments. You're not very successful. You only, your videos only have 70 views on some, uh, and on some five of them are for me, right? So it's, I don't care. So it's not both comp, but like, dude, like you just fucking insult. You, you told me I'm no good, da, 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 this and that. So like, great, right? Just leave me alone. Don't, uh, don't bother me, don't, like, just let it go, I'm, I'm not, I'm not somebody who's going to bring any attention to you anyway, it doesn't matter, and now, and it's like, and then he tried to claw back, say he wasn't insulting me, and he wasn't, and like, I insulted him, but all I did was laid out my fucking boundaries, and I said, no, you can't, you can't just come on here with a plethora of opinions that are not based on anything. And then I blocked him. And then, so what did the motherfucker do? He sends me a friend request with, with, with a different account to say some more on the subject. I said, nobody, we're done. So, and he, he talked about like nobody giving him a voice. Well, fucking learn some respect. And if people aren't interested, you gotta take no for an answer. Like that's gotta be okay, man. Like, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Like, I saw some of your posts on Facebook. I don't like them. I didn't post negatively to them, like, because that's your Facebook. That's your business. But I didn't like them. You're not a viewpoint that I, I want to give a voice to. You haven't shown me that you've really carefully thought about things. Um, and yes, that's subjective. Yes, that's my taste. And... Like, I'm sorry, but how do you, like, when, when you start saying, oh, you're a low-level comedian, you're making a low-budget document, blah, 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 
why then am I going to want to have your perspective? Like, is that going to win me over somehow? Like, am I going to say, oh, geez, buddy, you're right. I really need to take your perspective. No, you know what, man? You know what? Put your head down, do some work, and leave me alone. And don't contact me again, motherfucker. I mean it, man. Leave me alone, okay? And I'm sorry, I know being disabled is very difficult, and I know it's very difficult to get any kind of break whatsoever, but, man, like, I don't do this to people. I don't do this to other disabled people. Like, hey, like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, put me on your shit, and then if you, like, don't want to, then, like, fuck, like, you think, like, you know, you, you write a letter to a movie star, and I'm, I know I'm not at that level, right, but on the internet now, everybody's kind of a celebrity if they got, it, right, so you, 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 you think, like, fucking Ellen Page is, like, you know, I'm sure she gets messages, hey, you know, I'm a really good actor, could you give me a break in the film, and it's, like, she doesn't have time to look that shit. And here's where I am. Like, if I, if somebody showed me something, I said, wow, like, that's a really good piece of work. And that needs to be shared. I'm going to share that shit. And I'm going to do what I can to help you. I'm going to do what I can to help you. If you've actually done something. But no, your ideas are not a body of work. You need to put your ideas into reality, and you're on social media, you dick, so do your own work, put it on your own shit, I don't have that many views, right, I'm not gonna help you any, so it doesn't matter, man, but leave me alone, leave me alone, I'm not a sounding board for every disabled lunatic that comes along and, and wants to give their two cents, that's not what I do, that's not what I'm about, that's not, you know, if it so happens that our worldviews are reasonably similar and you've showed me similar struggles, you've you've done the work and you gotta you gotta do the work. You got to. You have to do the work. And that's no guarantor of success by any means, no guarantor of success. But at the end of the day, you can't just be a guy with ideas because how does that, like, how, even if you are some kind of genius, if it's not grounded in reality or grounded in anything uh, practical, then, then there's no application for that. So, um, If you, I'm going to say, that, like, if you're some disabled person randomly reaching out to me and you want to connect and like professionally or like intellectually or whatever it is, show your work. Just like in that math problems in, uh, in school. Remember, you had to show your work because even if you got the wrong answer, that showed that you were trying and you knew the formulas by which you were supposed to approach the problem. Show your work and then we'll talk. Otherwise, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone.